Hey you guys, um, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I am Juana Lisa and I am the Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, today, what I'm gonna do is uh, a follow-up, kind of a follow-up um, of a video that I released last week uh, where I show an unboxing of my uh, Mighty Hoop, um, the, uh, the Mighty Hoop Master. Um, so I just remember that I told you I was gonna do a video um, on how to use it and what to use it for. So I have to embroider some items from my Etsy shop. So I decided to use the Hoop Master and show you how to use it. It's going to be my first time. So yeah, um, I'm going to do um, everything. Is, one order is two shirts and another one is one. So two of the shirts I'm going to be doing um, using the uh, freehand um, logo placement uh, part of it. And I'm going to do a logo on the left side of the chest. And then the other one is just a regular embroidery across the chest. And for that one, I'm going to be using the Mighty Hoop. Uh, which is 10 by 13, yeah. So yeah, let's have some fun. Let's go at it. So these are the spacers, um, and this is the first one we're going to uh, put down. These are the screws um, that are going to um, help you to move it around. And uh, first you're going to choose exactly where you want it, depending on the size of your hoop. I'm using an 8 by 13, so I decided to place them um, on the bottom just just to see, you know, to give me an idea where I'm going to start. And um, once you put it in the hole that you want it, uh, matching holes, you're going to screw it in uh, enough so that the spacer doesn't move around. Don't do it too tight because then it's going to be difficult. You know, it's going to be more problematic to take out. Not problematic, it's going to take longer to unscrew the whole thing. You just do it enough uh, so that it doesn't move around. This is the second spacer, and this one is different. This one has a screw in the back and a space in between you notice and that is going to help you to slide it down the board on the top to the position that you want um i shows that position first to see if it's close enough or where i want it um because when i put it in the for now it's temporary i'm going to place the backing of the hoop to make sure that it fits and if you notice it doesn't fit so i had to adjust the top one and then i move it up a little bit and place it exactly what I want it, tie it on the back um, enough so that it doesn't move around. And there you have it. You have the hook in there. I'm placing the shirt down. This, is, this shirt is a size small. Oops, I forgot I did not put the stabilizer. So um, let me go ahead and put the stabilizer. This is a cutaway stabilizer, by the way. Then I use the flaps um, to um, secure it in place. It has two flaps on the top and the bottom is uh, one flap. Then I um, lock it in place, pull down the shirt. And the next thing that I'm gonna do, if you notice, I put a dot in there um, just for positioning of the design. It's just a little sticker. Um, I'm making sure that the shirt is um, straight in the board. Um, and then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the, um, yeah, wait a minute. Um, this is too, too low for me, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. I just realized it's a little bit low. Um, yeah, I like it there better. That's a little bit better. And... Um, now I'm just going to let it go, just hoop it up, and it's in place. Yeah, you see how it is easy it is? It's very easy. Uh, it makes it easier to, you know, secure the um, cutaway stabilizer in place, and just all you have to do is just hoop it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do um, is use my design, which I always uh, print it out. You've seen me done it before. Um, that assures me that um, it's the right size, it's in the right position, and also I can see if, whether I like it or not, which I do. It's a nice design. But anywho, yeah, it's a, it's a good practice to do this. It helps you a lot, um, especially when you're using the Mighty Hoop and you want to make sure that the design is not too big and, you know, and then that way you don't uh, run into a risk of hitting the hoop. Um, it helps on positioning in the machine. Now I'm taking off the flaps. 
um, the top ones and the bottom one. And um, yeah, and that um, all I had to do is take it up. And then I'm going to lift up the, the hoop. It should come off easy, carefully on the back, not to pull too long, too much the the T-shirt. The, the and that's the design right there. And now the next thing is to take it to the machine. Um, it's already embroidering and I'm gonna run this part of the video fast so um, it doesn't become um, too long of a video, okay? So this one I um, did after I finished the first one and I used the uh, Hoopmaster logo placement, uh, the freehand um, logo placement. And I will show you uh, on the next one, how is it that I did it? Um, and this is like a logo size um, design, okay? So this is the hooping station. I already showed you how to do a regular hooping with the regular, um, so these are the adjusters that I showed you earlier and you know we use this to use a regular you know um, mighty hoop which in that case I used a um, a by 13 so now I'm gonna do the logo and um, and you already saw the result of the first one which you know it came out real nice so like I explained on my um, previous video that I did when I unbox this one this normally come with a five by five um, freehand but uh, we upgraded for a seven by seven because I already have the five by five that came with the infant station, like I explained before, right there. So that's why I didn't want to do another five by five similar because you know I already have a five by five hoop. So with a free hand, 
which I explained on, the, on that video. When I unbox it right there, it came the, this small board. And it's um, a piece that comes apart. Okay. It comes apart. And you use these pegs right here to put it on these holes right here. And um, the booklet that came with this gives you the sizing depending on the size of the shirt. So I'm doing right now a medium. So I have to look what size medium is going to go on these numbers right here. Um, this board came with this right here. Let me move the camera. They came like in a one piece, but you pull, pull it apart because you can use it on that one over there too. And I went through, if you want to hear, hear more about this, you can... Um, Look for the video that I did on uh, my the unboxing. Um, I think it was two videos prior to this one, I think. Uh, but anywho, so I'm gonna check what size um, I need. So in this booklet right here, it tells me the size that I need for each size of the shirt, and it has like a little um, sizing page. So right now, if I need a medium, I need to put it for because this is a male. I'm going to put it on the um, C15. Oh, it was the same one as the purple one that I did, which was for... Well, but this is a unisex shirt, so it doesn't really make a difference, but it's a medium. So I'm going to use the same one, C15. And C goes for this letter over here. And that's what you're going to place the neck. Okay? And the 15 is a number over here that I can see it. And the way you're going to see how it's going to go is because when you use this... Um, in this hole right here, let's go this way. In this hole right here, you're going to look for 15. You can see through it. So you look for 15. Oh, sorry. Oops. So you look for 15. And 15 is right here. That's 14. So 15, you see? The hole came through. And because this is a seven, you're gonna have a little a little left over in here, but it doesn't matter because like I said, usually um it comes with a five, which is a little bit smaller, but you can do you can use a four logo. You'll see. I mean I did it, so it was not a big deal. So now I already measured the um place where the logo is gonna go more or less. You might I might have to adjust it later on, but um I follow in the booklet also it tells you right here where to find the logo by measuring this way and this way, depending if it's a, a woman or a man. So it also depends on what kind of shirt you're going to do. I'm doing a t-shirt and it's a unisex t-shirt. So I use the same measurement that I used before, um, between seven and nine going down and between four and five going this way. That's what I did. Um, yeah, so this, I already did this part so that I don't have to record the whole long video. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to put it and um, it might be, I might do some adjustment to it depending on how it looks on the shirt because this shirt is smaller than the other one. This is a medium size. The other one was a, um, a large. So, yeah. So this is how you put it. And then I'm going to put this part on the C, which is up here. So it's on C. And I'm going to straight this, straighten it a little bit. Make sure. Hopefully I'm not blocking you. Yes, I'm blocking you probably. The seams, make sure that it's um, you're together, all right? Straight like this, all right? Mm -hmm. So you still have an accurate measurement and I'm gonna pull it to a C. Right here. That's the C right there. Okay. I already put, you know, I always use this part just to give me an idea. And um, where it goes and how it looks, if I like it or I don't like it. And look, for me, it's a little bit too much to the right, but I might fix that in a little bit. To me, I mean, I don't know, let's see, it's a little bit too much to the right. I'm gonna have to pull it this way a little bit more. But well, let's see. Um, I forgot to put the stabilizer, so let's go back. So I'm gonna put my hoop in here. It's similar, actually, it's the same thing, uh, very, very close to the infant station, which you have seen me work on it uh, many, many times. It goes the same way. You put this, you put this in here with the right way towards the back. Put it here. Drop it here. Close it. 
then you put the stabilizer. Oh, the flaps. Make the shirt. Let's go start rolling it. Make sure that the shape is straight. Meaning, you know, this right here, the back pedal. And you're going to place the hook, pressing this way. Okay, and then you're going to push it. And it's there. Now, seeing this, this is a little bit too much to the right. And I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left. Um, Feel more comfortable that way for some reason with that it was too close to the edge in here and i didn't like it so hopefully this is the way it goes then we're gonna take it up we pull it up we take it up and there you have it okay and this is the way it's looking so then i'm gonna go i'm gonna put on the table and make sure that i have the right position I just want to make sure that I am okay. comfortable with that in there. So let's go to the machine. We're gonna start it. You've seen this done before so I'm not gonna keep you in here too long. Um yep because this is a recoma and this is a mighty hoop um, I use the C hook on size for the Vicoma size um, hoop. In their case, it's a seven by six point something, and this one is a seven by seven. So I should be okay because this is a small design. So. So this is already started. Um, it should not take too long because it's just a uh, smaller design. So yeah. that design and ran through across the chest and it was around eight by four and a half uh, it's the same concept the same design exactly the difference is that this one is a smaller um, size i did it a four by two and three quarters i believe so yeah but it's the same design if you go back to my video of last week um you're gonna notice um i did um this same design
Oh my goodness. I need some vitamins. Okay, people. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, I can. Yeah. And I like the position. Yeah. Perfect place. Likey, likey. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim it. And I'm going to take some photos of it. And ship it. By tomorrow yeah so these are the shirts finish um, if you remember this this one right here uh, which is a sketch design we used uh, 8 by 13 on the my uh, hoop master using the regular um, adjusters the up and down adjusters so this is the result of it feel nice I like this design a lot and then these two we use the um, Hoop Master logo placement, which is um, uh, with a free hand. And these are the logo placement right here. Um, yeah. And like I mentioned before, I did a video which was released yesterday in the same design, but in a bigger. Um, I think it was like 8 by 8 by 5. I think it was a by four. It was a long version in the middle. And that one you can find on my Etsy shop, Mona Lisa Creations. This one I already photographed, and they're gonna be placed on my um, shop also, as well as this one. I like this design because this one can be used for anything. I mean, not necessarily Valentine's. You have a new uh, nice message that I placed myself. This was uh, my design. All we need is love. Um, this one is a file that I got, but I added this one. So uh, it makes it that you can use it and uh, you know all year round. Um, if you like this tutorial, um, and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and that way you will receive um, notification on my future videos. And also you can go and check all my um, older videos. I think I have already published over thirty videos that you can watch. Um, different kind of crafting, um, sublimation. Uh, HTV and embroidering and sewing. I've done all of those. Um, yeah, so I will see you pretty soon with new content this coming week. Um, see you later. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.